In today's video, we're going to be checking out a bean bag made by Sofa Sack. And the box is pretty large and the weight of it is 49 pounds. So the bean bag comes in a sack compressing it together. And by the way, the bean bag is memory foam. So Marcus is going to help us unzip this thing and get it open. And you're probably pretty excited to use this thing, aren't you? Yes. All right, so let's go ahead and flip it over. So this is what it looks like. And we do have a little sticker here. So it does say it's going to take four to five days for it to expand fully. And if you have any questions, there's a contact number and there is a full instructions included. All right, cool. Well, it looks like there's something here and that's the instructions. So here it says that this is in a compressed bag. So all we need to do is unzip it and it'll expand and not to worry about the bag if it gets damaged in the process. And then we're going to roll it around to help it expand easier. And to speed up the process, we're going to keep doing that for four to five days as the bean bag expands. All right, Marcus, do you want to be the one unzipping it? I don't know if it's going to be dangerous, but it is exciting. So there are some zippers here that say, I love my foam bag, I guess. That's interesting. All right, go ahead. Let's see what happens. Just be careful. Okay, yeah, it's already trying to burst. Try to go quick. I guess we should lay it down. Go ahead. So it looks like it's peeking out. All right, so it looks like it's in also in a plastic bag. It's definitely compressed looking. It looks like a huge brain. All right, so it's not immediately exploding. And the reason for that is because the plastic here has got suction on it, so it's kind of holding it all together. So once we release the plastic from it, I think it's gonna start expanding. But as you guys can see here, we got the charcoal gray, I think is what it's called. Well, it's definitely not expanding as fast as I thought it would, but it is growing though, just looking at it. I don't know if you guys will be able to tell, but it's expanding slowly right now. It's kind of interesting looking. But the fabric that we have here is like a, I guess kind of like a microfiber style fabric. Very soft to the touch. And then this charcoal gray is really nice. All right, so I think now we just need to kind of toss it around and maybe like push on it from different angles. Like flip it around and then jump on it right there, yeah. There you go. Look at that, that expanded pretty quick. So I think what's going on is there's a lot of chunks because it was compressed, they're stuck together. So we kind of need to loosen them all up inside. So the more you toss it around and move it and break up the clumps, you know, the faster it'll expand as all the pieces detach from each other. And as you guys can see, it is quite large. So this is a five foot and Marcus is what? Four foot something. So this is definitely big enough for him and even adults obviously to enjoy. Sparky, you want to jump on the bean bag? Well, look at him. He's like, what is this? Is this my new bed? All right, Marcus, I think we need to keep tossing it around and shake it up really good. So we did toss it around, and I guess it still needs to grow, so we need to give it a few days here. But I want to peek inside and see what kind of foam we got, because we do have the zipper here. Okay, so it's actually double zipped. So you got to unzip it completely on one of the zipper, and I think we maybe get to the other zipper. So on the other end, we can see there's another zipper, but mine is stuck and looks like the puller on it's broken the tab. So I'm going to leave it alone because I don't want to mess mine up. But yeah, but the way this bag is, is that there is no other part on the inside that holds the foam. The outside here is also the bag that holds everything inside. So I did cut off the labels because I don't really like them. They're sticking out and it says here it is 100% polyester, if anybody wants to know. But yeah, we're just going to uh, wait a few days and then we'll uh, come back and give you guys an update of how the bag is doing. But it looks like Marcus is going to enjoy it, that's for sure. So the bag is coming along pretty well and it's only been an hour or so. And one thing that I didn't mention yet is that it does have a little bit of a smell to it. I don't know how you would explain it, kind of like a new plasticky smell, I guess. So it's not very strong, but there is a little bit of an odor there. So hopefully that'll go away in a few days. All right, so it's been about five days, actually maybe more, and this is what the bag looks like now. So it hasn't been fluffed recently or flipped around. What I noticed is that if you sit on it and you leave it that way, it never really grows back to where it needs to go. You actually have to keep flipping it as you use it. And so what you're looking at right now is I just flipped it after it was used for a while. So it's not completely blown up, but this is what to expect if you're gonna use it. But when you do flip it around and leave it like this, it does grow a bit more and kind of 
you know, stretches out. And also most of the stronger smell has gone away. There is still some left and I'm thinking it's going to take, you know, a month or two for it to all go away. But most of it went away, so it's not unpleasant or unbearable by any means. Now one thing to consider is this thing is very large. And if you guys look here at our living room, this thing takes up a lot of space. So make sure you have room for a five footer because it doesn't sound that big, but it's actually larger than you would think. So yeah, overall the sofa sack here is really nice bean bag and it's very comfortable. The only thing is there's some chunks in here that are a little large, but most of them are fine. And I think it's mixed with memory foam slash just regular foam, but overall it's very comfortable. So I just flipped over the bean bag and you guys can see that it's a lot more poofy now. So if you just keep flipping it, it poofs up really nicely. All right, guys. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks to Marcus for helping us out. So if you want to get one for yourself, they're great for kids or just like gaming and taking naps, stuff like that. I'm going to have some links in the description, so check it out. And if you enjoyed this video, then hit that like button. And if you're interested in videos like this and you want to see what else I do on this channel, then stay tuned. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.